Wow. It's totally full of books. <laughs> There's so many. I don't know where to look. All right. If we want to get through that door out there, we need the Neptune key. Oh. I say we split up and look for it. I thought he was going to say okay. we need a library card. Very well. Sure thing. Good. Let's get What's started then. Do we library? don't have a lot of time. Hurry. There could be braille books. Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge. Right, this is probably another piece of knowledge. This is probably another piece of information we didn't get in this story branch. No, it is. Is it? Yes. Because we wouldn't have this. We wouldn't have this information without talking to everybody about the psychic rocks stuff. Oh yeah. So this might, yeah, oh, yeah. And, and Seven told us this when we were with uh, Clover in the room with the mannequins. He told us. Uh, he was like, "Oh, I heard a story about this fucking mummy, and she was sleeping in the forest of knowledge." Oh yeah, that wasn't the way directly to hear. Yeah. Right. As he began his search for reasons he didn't fully understand, Junpei felt those particular words float through his mind. Oh, it's an escape room. Oh. Well, thank you. I will say that. Oh. Thank you for giving us something to do. Yeah, I was getting prepped to, like, hit the final credits at the end of this game and be like, and it has been seven hours since our last escape room, because I was like, when are we gonna play again? <laughs> like, we just, it's just... It was starting to be, like, almost... Like, it was starting uh, to get amazing how long it was getting. This... okay. This is an interesting shape. This is an escape room, I guess. Well, there's staircases that go up and down. That's it. Oh, this is, Oh, what? Oh, my... how is that working? Yeah... Oh, there's... oh, never mind, there's an outer rim. Oh. It, it looked like I was floating. <laughs> you kinda are, because the camera angle is floating over the gap. It's... interesting camera angles. Is okay. Is that all we have? Well, no, there's, there's downstairs areas, according to the map. The... Yeah, but do we have access to those? Click? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, we do. Alright, cool. let's look at you. There's a note on the table. Lights to the books. Huh. What does that mean? Interesting. Well, intelligence often hides itself in darkness. Have you ever thought about the pages of a book? Each page only sees what? Maybe two or three minutes of light before the reader is on to the next? They spend the rest of their lives locked in darkness. Rather like myself. Damn. Guilt trip. I'm blind, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. Not at all. I live in the darkness, yes. But that has gifted me with the ability to catch the truths others might miss. I can hear the voice hidden in the darkness, you might say. A what? Okay, but I'm trying to click on the note itself, please. Oh wait, no, that was the quote about the... Yeah. Right. It lights on the... lights to the books. Lights to the books. Yeah. Yeah, it's not actually about the darkness, but the, it's more like the absence of it. Oh. Hello. There's a lot of... Japanese books. Hello. I noticed you stand out a lot. Paleontology. This one's about fossils, right? Ammonites are pretty nasty looking. That's Excuse the you. worst thing you could find in a Excuse paleontology you. book? Ammonite is like the best Pokemon. Introduction to geology, huh? Wow, this is getting weird. <laughs> I took both... I took a paleontology class in my geology major. <laughs> Thinking about the Earth when you're on the ocean. Kind of romantic in a way, I guess. What? Sure. Oh, right. A theory of evolution. Heck, uh, even I know this one. Uh, this is that Darwin guy, right? Well, yes and no. Oh, hey, yeah, Snake and Seven are back together for the first time since our first room we ever picked. Yeah. Closure! Full circle! Whoa! Get it? Because we're in a circle library. Yeah, circle! <laughs> Geology! Paleontology! Charles Darwin wrote a book on the origin of the species. In it, he put forth his theory of evolution. Yeah, I remember that part. He called it natural selection. Exactly. Boo -doop. Mother Nature. Is that some sort of book about hippie chicks? Uh, probably not, except perhaps tangen uh, tangentially, 
It's most likely about environmental protection. I was just trying to make a joke. Dude, hippie chicks, really? Uh, what? Is Have you noticed that this entire game's sense of humor, which is weirdly shared between every single character in its entire story, is person who makes bad joke, other people take joke literally or don't get joke, and then somebody else is like, Really? That's the joke you went with? And like the person's like, I was just trying to make a joke, and that that's happen every, that happens every, in every escape room and every every novel. Yeah, everybody's a fucking joke critic. It's weird how that reason. that exchange happens so often, and it's just I don't know. It's it's a weird choice. Theories of the Cambrian explosion. Coheed and Cambria. Did a bomb go off somewhere near or, or go off near somewhere called Cambria? Wrong kind of explosion. Roughly 500 million years ago, during what is known as the Cambrian period. Do you know what the Cambrian explosion is? I'm assuming that's the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. It's like the, is that or is it talking about the pre-dinosaur? It's an explosion of life diversity, not a literal explosion. Oh yeah, so that's the that's the underwater it's one. When we right? started having, it's, it's when, when we, started we suddenly having... just had a ton of different life forms that's on just the planet. That's when things existed during the Cambrian on Earth, area, right? Well, it's not, when, it's not when life started, it's when suddenly a huge amount of diversity increased and suddenly we had a bunch of species all over the planet and stuff. That's what I mean. Yeah. So, like, because in the beginning we had life, which was microbial life, but then and after that, that it, lose them all. But then it became, like, it exploded into, like, various different species and, and different types. One of the types. surprises is, like, when you look into Japanese stories that have a lot of, like, cycles of, like, of, like death and life repeating over and over again and stuff like that is, is that it matches the history of the world. <laughs> There's a lot of like explos there's a lot of like booms of life diversity followed by mass extinctions. Yeah. Just over and over again. Research suggests that the variety of living organisms increased by an order of magnitude. Why that happened is, however, still something of a mystery. There are a number of theories. This book is most likely a collection of them. Are we gonna do this for every fucking bookcase? Yes. All of them, for the entire library. God. This one says, a uh, transition of, ex uh, of extinct species. We need to hurry it up, or we're going to end up the pages uh, pages of the book like that. Get it? Because we're all going to die. Dude, really? Micrographia, huh? Oh, uh, yes. Robert Hooke's famous work. First published in 1665. He built a microscope and examined insects, inorganic substances, and other things too small to be seen in detail by human eyes. He then drew pictures of many of the things he examined and published them in a book. I had hazard a guess this shelf is concerned with natural sciences. Creatures of the South Seas, huh? I wonder if this one's got pictures of colorful fish and stuff. Yeah, Junpei, it's a fucking kids section. Why did, uh, mankind lose their tails? Junpei, do you know what this one's about? It's probably about why mankind lost their tails. <laughs> we don't have tails, Keith. Because we lost them. We have tail bones. They're in the lost and found. We never had tails. Why are you asking me? I didn't even know we had tails to lose. Maybe you should ask a human with a tail. Mankind's ancestors most likely lost their tails as they were no longer useful, and the nutrients required to grow them were better put to use elsewhere. At least that's what I read. I was rather young, I may have remembered it incorrectly. Says the writer of the game. <laughs> huh? Why the hell would a kid be reading a book like that? Because he wasn't blind yet? Do I wonder- Which bookshelf did you click on? I wonder how many times you get the same books. Ah, that's different books. Uh, no times. Oh. So that's God. different books. Oh. Energy theory, huh? I don't even understand the damn title. It looks like this shelf's all science and technology. I was, I was just screwing with you. I'm not planning on checking every single section of every single screen. I kind of wanted to see if the, ca the game would cut me off at some point and be like, Junpei, we're all going to die. <laughs> he, d he did. But not really. Alright. That, was it the sideways one? Oh, that's all part of the same thing. That's suspicious. We can speed words. I mean, spell words. So, what is the first open? I mean, it's gonna so, be yeah. Open here. Find lube. No. <laughs> uh, find bul lube. Bulb. Bulb maybe. Yeah. What's the deal with these titles? They're all just gibberish. 
Hey, what if we, like, switch them around? Switch them around? Yeah. If we move them around, maybe they'll spell something. Oh, I get it. Yeah, heck, it's worth a shot. Oh. So, uh, Pino? Oh, I thought it was going to do it without, without us. Pino is clearly the answer. Wow. Oh. Open here, find bulb. Hey, how about this? Oh, it's a bulb. <laughs> no, no joke. Wow. Completely serious. I, I was actually thinking maybe it was like a flower bulb nope. or something. Or no, like, just straight light bulb. Or like bulb. a clue to go find a bulb, but it's literally like, nope, there's just, if you, if you, if you rearrange this, it'll make a bulb happen. How do you even... Do you think this original puzzle is in English or Japanese? English. Because because just enough people know English. Yeah, there's no out. way you could have done this properly kanji. in kanji. It but, would be really awkward because like if you were gonna do this in kanji, you would try to be like, like you try to be at least like coy about it. So you would make it spell a word going down, but then make it so if you moved it around a different way, it would spell a different it's word. It's been interesting seeing how much English shows up, because like, I've been rewatching Death Note, and they'll be like, yeah, th th that's why the Death Note is written in English, the most popular language. I'm like, oh, it's, it was, this isn't localized. This is just already in English. Okay. Yeah, no, uh... Because the Death Note instructions are all in English, and I'm like, huh. Yeah, because... It's an anime. Yeah, because, uh, like, I mean, I, I, most people know Japan actually teaches people English because, hey, it's yeah, actually it's, kind of it's useful. It's like that quote that I've never followed up on to see if it's actually true or not, where there's a claim that more people are learning currently how to speak English in China than speak, than speak English in the United States. Yeah, because it's... it's gargantuan like, populations all over the world, but turns out picking a common language for a lot of the world, it makes everything easier. Which is why in every sci-fi thing ever, there's like quote-unquote common language that everyone speaks. That's why it's in fantasy as well. Yeah. In most fantasy everyone games, there's a common. common. Even D&D has common. You should have common, because it yeah. makes literally no sense to have an entire, ra like, entire world where people are like, Huh? What? Speak in a language I understand. You We're just in the transitionary phases of our globalized world where it's slowly... The world's making up its mind what common will be, basically. I don't know, maybe the language the internet was invented in. English. <laughs> the end. Looks like putting those books in the right order opened this thing right up. Hey, that was a piece of cake. Hooray! You did it, Junpei! Jumpy, I mean, uh, I'm not her. I guess that turned out well enough. The letters of the title spell out, Open here, find bulb. Thanks, Clover. I guess just in case... People didn't understand English in the audience, I guess. Powerful light bulb. Powerful! Is it LED, though? It better be, like, eco-friendly. I can't, I can't hear the word powerful without thinking power stone. Energy theory. Changing direction. Oh, God. Oh, no, so it's... Uh, oh, you're only turning, like, halfway. Yeah, the, okay. we're, we're turning 90 degrees, so... The whole room's actually divided into quadrants, so I can just rotate like this to see. No, never, maybe not. <laughs> that might be a little too far. We'll see. Oh, good. Red Lord. book? His book here? It looks like it's a children's story about Native Americans. Uh... Hmm. Don't you think a random book like that's kind of suspicious? Maybe you ought to hold on to it. Uh... La, 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 la. Excuse me. That's a little insensitive. Cowboys and Indians? Wow, that's super oh, insensitive. Holy shit. Cowboys and Indians. Wow. Okay, it might be a little older of a book. Really? That's you. This what? This one has some Native Americans on the cover. It's the wrong you. Oh, seven. Sorry. <laughs> this one has some Native Americans on the cover. Hey, Junpei, take a look at this one. Native Americans, huh? Maybe it's got some. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Upside down. You dumb. You dumb dumb. Lilk. Like, comment, subscribe! <laughs> Lilk? Kill. Yeah, kill. So, Don't lose your way. I don't know how to make it face the right way, but it probably says kill. You can't. Yeah, it seems unlikely. You can't make it but face the right way. K-I-L-L, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the K's like on the wrong side. Huh. What's that? This one's a uh, uh, this one's a uh, them pop-up books. L R K. None of those are R. Yeah, wait, what? Where's <laughs> the R? That doesn't mean anything, does it? What? Where's the R? Where's the R? What the fuck? 
Oh, is the black supposed to be an R? No, there's no way. Turn it, uh, I can't rotate it now. We have to finish the dialogue. Well, you can make them K K R L. Like curl or Carl. How? It's not an L. That's not an R. How it's definitely an I. It definitely says kill. There's no ambiguity here. How the fuck can you mess this up? I don't know. It almost feels like one of those jokes about, like, oh, is that. No? You can't even say it's a lowercase uh, R. No. It R. almost sounds like a joke at the expense of Japanese people mixing up L's and R's. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, is this cowboy and Indians book too racist for you? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> the black hole hypothesis. Gamma ray astrophysics. Well, I guess this bookshelf has an astronomy theme. Same bookshelf? Same one. Seemed to all be about history. Oh, yeah, that's where I took the book out. Okay. So here we go. Oh, another red book. This one. It looks just like that picture from earlier. The one with the pop-ups. You think they're part of a series or something? They do have the same binding. Fundamentals of baseball? Huh. What? There's a baseball in this one. Come on, Junpei, let's see what's in it. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say it's probably a baseball stuff. Whoa! Head. head. Kill head? Okay. No. Well, first we have to figure out what these letters are, because they're not gonna be head. You don't think so? Dead. D D at Well, I'm saying that we don't I mean the last book had kill and it was not kill. Oh yeah. There's a pop up book. Got the letters H E A D popping did, out of it. How the fuck did you get R on the know. other one? You, did you were you expecting us to find out that everything's like it's actually a nine, not a six, whoa and <laughs> stuff like that? I don't know. Kill head. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Head kills. I'm gonna double check every shelf real quick to see if I missed. Oh, handrails That's a handrail. Metal. <laughs> gonna make sure I just double check them all to make sure that I didn't miss like a uh, red book somewhere because I wasn't looking for them at first. No, I mean you clicked on all the bookshelves. Yeah. But I wasn't looking. For, I didn't look for the uh, red ones until I got like right here or here. That's the, I keep mixing up where I am. Oh wait, what? Kept going. Just listening to you read those titles giving me a headache. Can't say I have fancy technology stuff, and I get along real well. Keep on talking about that stuff, and you're gonna put me to sleep. Okay. Weird. I thought that was the same bookshelf as before. It is. There's a bunch. Of, yeah, book, black hole hypothesis. That's where we got it. It might be the only ones on this floor. Yeah. Head downstairs. Hello. Who? Hello. Oh we oh we oh we Owen no one no one no one no one no one. Owen. Wilson? Sheldrake. Sheldrake, 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 Sheldrake. Lieburn and Dadkind? Dad Dadkind. Dadkind? Dadkind? <laughs> For all dads and dadkind. The seven part dream daddy so what, series. So what can you spell out of this? Uh, we probably don't spell anything out of them. The reference material. They're, they're encyclopedias. One through seven, one through seven, one through eight, one through eight. Sheldrake? Sheldrake. Isn't Sheldrake... Huh? Thanks, Junpei. <laughs> Lieberin? Lieberniz? This book's in German. It looks like it's a complete works of something. I've never heard of it. Well, if Snake doesn't know what it is, I don't think we'll ever know. Owen, huh? Owen isn't enough to go on. Perhaps it's about the English Revolutionary? Dad kind? What the hell is this? Some kind of simulator about dreams? Wasn't that a German mathemat mathematician? Maybe it's a compilation of his work. Ugh, seven books of math? That sucks. Light bulb. The red book says dad kind on it. Light bulb did not help. <laughs> You have to plug it into something. Algebraic number theory, huh? Math, huh? There's another one like that over here. You mean something like primary number theory, or analytical number theory, or geometry? Oh my gosh, how did you know? 
Nobody said anything about those. Well, number theory is usually split into four chief disciplines. If there was a book named Algebraic Number Theory, I took a wild guess that the other three would be here as well. Looks like I was right. We're gonna die while we're spending time explaining, like, why Snake was able to guess what a book might be called. Yeah. That's fine with me. This is a weird book, book Junpei. anti and math mathematics Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Why is that funny? Yeah, why is that funny? What are you trying to say? Indians can't do math? It's right, but that's rude. Uh, what? Why are you saying things like this? <laughs> this one's gold ba gold box conjecture. Conjecture? What's it about? Like, magic or psychic stuff or something? Right, I bet it's about jewelry, isn't it? It may have an old title, but it's actually a very respectable math mathematics book. It deals with one of the unsolved problems of additive number theory. Uh, sorry I said anything. Look, uh, let's not get into this right now, okay? It says Riemann hypothesis. Did you need to jump? She just did that a few times now. What is their hypothesize about with Riemann? Isn't it pretty straightforward? Oh. Clover. Clover, you sweet summer child. Heavens no, there are many factors, length, girth, lubrication, wow. and lack of... Wow! <laughs> it's an exciting and rapidly growing field. Wow! Uh, okay. <laughs> just gonna have to share a look between us about what the fuck just happened. Yeah, that, I guess that's something... Uh, oh, you need multiple light bulbs. Look at your... There are three lights in this thing. They aren't very bright, though. Hey, didn't we find some kind of really powerful light bulb earlier? Why don't you put it into one of those lights? Yeah. We'll... Well, it'll get a lot brighter, but... But if there are three lights, that means three light bulbs. There won't be much point unless we can replace all three bulbs. We need three light bulbs, huh? They won't can't even put them in until I find all three, because they didn't want to animate it three times. Guess so. If I could just change out those bulbs, then... Ah! What's the use wishing? I don't have any more light bulbs. So they won't even try until you get all three because they don't want they don't want to animate three different states of lighting for the room. Yeah. Hey, there we are. Hey, there's another one of those picture books here. Something about these things feels kind of nice, you know? Why, the part where they say kill? <laughs> Brings back good memories. This one's gonna say red rum. I guess even people like Seven were kids once. What? No shit, you little brat. Hey, guys, cool it. Alright, I think I'm gonna take this picture book with me. It's got Tales, a magic wand on it. Tales of Old Japan. Okay. So, uh... So, what's inside? Well, aren't you going to open it? Pretty sure it's just gonna have pages and... Really, Junpei? Three times in a row, you're like, Whoa, a pop-out book! <laughs> Sex. Five? Is that is that an I or a five? That's or a five. That's just a five. Well, is that an I or a dash? S E dash five. Yeah. Uh, it might be one of the. It might match up with one of the. Uh, so like section five. What's that thing in the background? If it's S, oh, the background picture. Yeah. What's that picture that they're popping out of? A turtle. No, it's like a. It's it a, looks like no, it's an old the, Japanese man. Is it? Oh, it is a. Oh, it is a Japanese man. Out the his head and everything. It was. I thought that was a turtle head. Wait, go to the other book. Oops. It's the same one. No, nope, that no, one's that, different. That one's different. What That's is a that? woman, I think. Is it? Or no, it's a cow. It's a cow. That's a cow. Is what? it a cow or is it a horse? That's no, a it's a horse. It's a horse and a Native American sitting below the horse. It's two horses and, a, uh, and two Native Americans sitting in front of a campfire. Maybe. It looks like it has horns. I mean, maybe one of them. This build looks kind of cow-like on the left. May, maybe one of them's a bull? I don't know. But those are... What the fuck is this? <laughs> Wait, it did it. This was Oh, that's baseball. the baseball one. So it's going to be kind of incomprehensible, So probably. it's going to be baseball-related? Flip it the other way? You have it upside down. Okay. 
That is... Uh, okay, well, now, now I can't tell at all what it is. I can't tell at all. It's like... A, is it the bleachers? Oh, uh, wait. I think I see a person's butt. The white thing on the bottom is like a person bending it, over, like... Is that... Like the picture, Is that maybe? an ass? I it's can't. too low res to make out, basically. I'm oh, surprised wait, they even use different wait. pictures. Wait, no, no, no. It's... Okay. Uh, on the right side, there's a person right there. That's a person. On the left side, there's a, another person. I yeah. think it's... Yeah, you, you can see his legs and his butt and his belt. Yeah. Mostly, mostly. I think it's from the outfield? It's probably... I mean, it's probably a baseball photo, yeah. Yeah. Weird, why do they do that? That's such a weird, like, idea. KL dash L? No, because it's an R. Remember? K. K R K. Or L, L K. R and K. L R K. I don't know where the fuck Let's try R to is. match L R K with the encyclopedias. Large, round, and kinky? <laughs> nah, probably not. Thank seven. You, seven. What, are you, what are you even doing, man? <laughs> so, what do we have? We have L K R. What are the other ones? Okay. Check what the other pop-up books are. Leibshins. Um, H E A D. H E A D. And then what's that one? S E dash five. Well, we don't know. We never checked what the letters were. Did we not? No, we checked it once and we opened it. We were like, whoa! Oh, yeah. But then we looks like another pop-up book. This book has S and E, a dash, and the number five sticking okay. out of it. I might be impressed if I was five. <laughs> What? Thanks, prick. You're not impressed that they somehow managed to make pop-up letters come out of a Japanese any... man <laughs> talking to a the, turtle? And the physics of the pop-up doesn't make any sense. It's just yeah. like four random sticks. So we have LKR head SE5. Uh, I don't know what that means. I guess we'll find out later. Like SE5 or something like that, maybe? The sheltering on the spine of this book. It's got the volume number written in the lower part of the spine. Nope, the dialogue doesn't change. Maybe we have to find all of them and then it'll like be like, what if this is thing about a book? And then you grab the right books. Get What's that book. red one? Probably, yeah, just a section. Modern Japanese literature, huh? Okay. R.I.P. Hmm, let's see what we got here. So many books here. I wonder what this... Whoa, what's this? Warm. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, no, I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, what's the deal with this sappy stuff? Butt stuff. It is butt stuff. Display case. Is you? Okay. What? Astronomy. This bookshelf has a uh, sort of a glass inlay. It's pretty big, but there are only six books on it. That seems kind of weird. Hey, it looks like there's something on the bottom. I can't really see it though, the glass is all foggy. Uh, a lock? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, click on the thing, dummy. Why'd you put the lock? There you go. Combination lock. What? Six digit number, zero through ten. Oh, zero through nine. Oh, what are they? I don't know. Um. Awesome, there's a lock on the glass door. Yep, won't budge. So it's astronomy, one through six, but then the wrong order. Maybe I had to fix their order. Maybe. Once you find a combination somewhere. What's it? Which maybe the combination shows up when you find three what's, light bulbs or what's something. What's that giant door? Oh, put your pop-up books there. The d Can you put the, the three pop-up the books. The sets are the three points across the floor. Yeah, put the three pop-up books on the on these things. Yeah. Small enclosure with nine sides. There are three of these things that look like. Kind of like mu music stands. Okay, so how are we? Yeah, because in the how about lights we try putting these pictures on the stands. Because in the lights hit the letters, they'll and they shine through, yeah. and the angle they're at will suddenly make sense, and it'll spell something. Yeah. Then. Hmm. This is a little weird. Okay. Shield. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a shadow puzzle. So shield. Sheld. Sheldrake five. Sheldrake five. But you don't know that yet. Shut up. The shell drake on the spine of this book. Oh, you that's what you mean by I don't know that yet, is yeah. I have to click on it or my characters won't respond. Yeah. 
Hmm, you can sort of see the letters. It's too dark in here to really tell, though. Well, that probably means our light isn't bright enough. Fuck you. Just put one light bulb in. I can read it! Yeah, you, you can I read can it. read it! Your life depends on this, you idiots! You're all gonna die! They're all gonna laugh at you! <laughs> I can read it! It says Sheldrake 5! Yeah. Your life depends on- Where it. are the other bulbs, by the way? Uh, we, haven't, we haven't found a single place where other bulbs would be. You know that, right? Like, we've not- we have not found a single other bulb. This iron plate's bolted down. I don't think it's a door. I think it's just a wall. Oh, no, it's- it's- it's a door to get to the Mumi. Ladder. No? Yeah? That's just how I get up there, I guess. You went higher, though. Yeah. Haven't I been here before? No. Yeah, I clicked on both top oh. and bottom. Guess we'll click on more things. An overview of, of photochemistry. I think whoever set this up wanted us to see the cover, not the spine. Let's look at it, okay? Oh. What? Well, looks like we're gonna go back to investigating everything again, Andrew. Until <laughs> we find the other bulbs. Huh, looks like there's a whole lot of space behind these books. Look, Junpei! I think there's something hidden behind the books! So we have to check every single bookshelf till we and anything that looks conspicuous till we find all three flashlights. I mean, light bulbs. So just look for another one. What's that one called? Uh, it says Foundations of the DNA and Genetic Engineering. Well, there was a light bulb here. There isn't anything here now. Communication and computer science, huh? Oh? That's a pretty generic title. To be honest, it's so vague, I don't really know what it might be about. Automatic robotic assembly li line techniques, huh? What's that? Some sort of comic book? Jeez, I guess boys really like that stuff, huh? No, you're thinking of a different sort of robot. This book is talking about automated machinery that's used to build things like cars. Wow. Next what shelf. A, what a dumb bitch. This one's shiny. If I can highlight it. There we go. Kitab al Asiv. Man, they got some weird stuff in here. I can't even pronounce this one. Who's that? Some famous guy? It's not a person's name. It's the name of a fictional book created by uh, uh, Abdul Al Hazard. It's said to be one of the sources used in the creation of the legendary Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon. Oh. Well, that got more interesting than I expected. <laughs> so these are all occult books and stuff. Red book. If I can... There we go. Nope. This one says the golden rabbit and the moon on it. Does that mean it's about a rabbit that lives on the moon? Rabbits are pretty cute, but what's the moon stuff about? It's, uh, 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 it's talking about the Juna's tree that is said to grow on the moon, according to a Chinese legend. Um... Okay. <laughs> Teletemporation and telepathy. The hell is this one's about? Well, I know what telepathy is, but I've never heard of, uh, teletemporation. It refers to having the ability to travel through time. Oh, I've never heard that said as a word before. Uh, it's used as a mind teleportation. So Whoa. you teleport, you, you psychically... So like Shadow Cat does in the X-Men movie. Yes. So you send your, you send your mind through to the past. You yeah. don't actually teleport to the past. Like you your just body get is... an X-Men... Which yeah. one was that called? X-Men, um... It's be between First Class and Apocalypse. Days of Future Past. Yeah. Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> Civil the War. day the Earth stood still. The day after tomorrow. This book's called, a uh, Mind Swap. You mean you could, like, change bodies with someone? Like in Swapper? <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't mind switching bodies with my brother or Junpei too much, but I'd rather die than let Seven switch with me. What the hell? Like, I don't even want to swap bodies with a little brat, like... Hey! Were you just imagining it? You were! Sh shut up. Yeah, well, he wasn't the only one. <laughs> fuck. What the fuck? Is Everyone that? stop saying things out loud, please. How old is Clover? I don't know. I can never tell. It's anime. Everyone's 12 in anime. You're red. Oh. Oops. Oh, we've already, oh, been, we've already here. been here. This is the first shelf we checked? Oh, it is the first shelf. 
That's the same one again. That's the same one we just checked again. We just checked the shit. Did we really? Shelves. Yeah. No, turn. It's hard to keep track of where I am. So we've already checked these two shelves. That's the last one we did. So go back the other direction and check the uppers of those directions. Energy theory. Sick. Right. It's probably down below, honestly. Let's yeah, be real here. We haven't found a single thing but the pop-up books down below. It could be. Yeah, because the already... hypothesis. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. And there's, yeah, there's no, there's a lot there's of no books. upward staircase either. We didn't check any of the other books either. We just clicked on the uh, we just clicked on the ones that had the red bindings and moved along. Yeah. Indian mathematics. Fallback's conjecture. Algebraic number theory. Pythagorean theorem. This is a famous one. Tells like there are a number of math books in this section. Do you know what the Pythagorean theorem is? Yeah, that's the uh, the graph thingy, right? The what? Uh, it, is that the one that's the um like a line, like a line graph looking one? It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Oh, for never calculating mind. the hypotenuse, it's for calculating the three sides of a or three angles of a uh, of a right right angle triangle. Right. Yeah. I don't know what the one I was thinking of was. I, I have no idea. I don't know. There's a lot of math, Oops. and none of it matters. <laughs> Thank you for knowing the... Right, this is just the note that says, Light the books! In case you didn't figure out what the light bulb thing was for. There are books here in all sorts of languages. But there's something suspicious about the shelf on the left. <laughs> Thanks. Philip J. Thanks. Fry. Thanks, Robot Jinpei. There are a bunch of books on folklore and myth here. There you go. This one's a book on Japanese culture called Modern Japanese Literature. Uh, Might be this one, this looks weird. What's this? Origin of Japanese Folklore. Looks like there's a bunch of books about Japanese culture here. Mostly ones about folklore, though. <laughs> what a fucking weeaboo. God. <laughs> well, folklore can cover a wide range of subjects. History, urban life, religious trends, environmental changes, oral traditions. Folklore can cover all those things, if you know where to look. This looks pretty deep. Agriculture and Historical Organizations and Folklore. There isn't a picture on this shelf anymore. Picture book. A picture book, yeah. Okay. So I guess this one's a waste. Looking for conspicuous looking books. A lot of these are stored, like, spine down. They yeah. They didn't fit in the shelf, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Next I one clicked over. on top or- oh, the whole thing's one thing. Can you move? There you go. I think I checked all these just now, though. Did you? Yeah, you did. Fuck! This isn't an interesting puzzle this right so far. Terrible so concept. All we do is just can we just put poke two in around there? this? <laughs> I can see the answer already. Yeah, can we just put two? Ah! In two is all we need. We'll be fine. I shouldn't be able to see the answer because it's these letters all coming together to make that. Yeah. And there's no lights in any of those. And there's no- it's not like we have brightness turned the up or anything. The shadow makes no sense. It shouldn't be visible, but it's super visible. Yeah. But like, I already know the answer, so this whole puzzle's pointless. I'm pretty sure the last one's in here, so we need to find the combination. No, I think the combination to it is in the mathematician's fucking- You think it's in Sheldrake 5? Yeah. Could be. Cause it's a math book! So of course it has the uh, like some kind of weird fucking equation in there. Uh, go uh where else? I feel like we checked everywhere. No, go back up. Owen Sheldrake. Huh. Part of me is wondering like, is there a word in here that's five that's ten syllables or eight syllables long or letters wrong long? It's eight digit combo, right? Six digit. Wait. Six three two four one five. Oh. The middle of the glass door is a cylinder lock. You know, the kind of lock where you rotate the numbers around until you've got the right ones to open, and by the time we finish saying this, I'll forget the numbers I had in my mind. What the hell is this, a lock? It's like they just gave us the answer. Guess I might as well give it a shot. Okay. Remember it? Crap. Six. 
six. No, wait, how do I? Go? How do you keep doing this? There we go. Three, two, something four five, right? Hint. Uh, one four five. You just press the hint button. I mean, we already know the answer. What's hint do? Wait, how do I say yes? There's hint. Six, oh, three, so it two, does. Four, one, five. Oh my god, it literally shows you. Yeah, in case you didn't like notice, I mixed two of the digits up. There we go. You did it, Junpei! Yay! I don't know why, but I don't really feel particularly happy about being praised for that. <laughs> Whatever. At least the lock's open now. Let's see if we can get it open, alright? Wait. We hadn't opened it yet, and she was... Okay, sure. Whoa, weird. There isn't a lock there anymore. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, a light bulb! Little bulb. Yeah! Zeleste. Now I can finally input that code, do that answer we already I know. wonder what it is. I can't tell. I think it's gonna say Owen. It's gonna 12. say Sh Shell Silverstein. <laughs> Alright. Where are the so sidewalk there are three ends? lights in here. <laughs> the giving tree. The I'm gonna tree? change this, I'm gonna change these bulbs. I had both of those when I was growing up, the physical copies. Yeah, I think I had where now the sidewalk should. ends. Oh my god, it's Sheldrake 5. <laughs> what if it actually wasn't? That'd be the, like we see Sheldrake Five, it's a total but they, fake out because that was like a burned-in imprint from yeah. the old, uh, the old puzzle of weird pocket book books. Yeah, for but some reason. like that was the first run of the puzzle book, but yeah. they, they were like, ah, that one's that too was dumb. From the one that the other people died during. Yeah, <laughs> awesome, it worked. Way to go, Junpei. Good job, buddy. There's something projecting on the bottom. These letters, they seem familiar. <laughs> 